What's up, Aries? This is Soul. And Aries, this is your week ahead. Um, energies beginning December 16th and ending December 22nd, uh, 2019. Okay, we're almost coming to a close of this year, and the following week is Christmas. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot going on here. Anyway, so um, this reading and energies is for Aries Sun, Moon, and Aries Rising signs as well. There are some reversals here, uh, Aries. I am using the True Black uh, Tarot deck to deliver your messages. Uh, and without further ado, let's get underway to see what's coming up and what's in store for you. Okay, let's see. Energies for Aries. Now, I've been saying, Aries, in the other videos that this is, uh, I think, the second time that I've used this deck. The backs are velvety smooth, so it makes it very difficult for me to uh, shuffle, but... Uh, prior to hitting the record for your video, I shuffled the cards up pretty well. Um, and I do that in between, uh, you know, each video that I record. So just to let you know, uh, with the velvety backs here and the soft velvety backs, I should say, uh, it makes it very, very difficult to um, shuffle this deck. Uh, it's one of those decks that you just to just buy and just uh, sit aside and, and admire because of the beauty okay but it's difficulty I mean it's difficult to shuffle the cards see <laughs> and so I I'm not going to use the cards that flip over because it's not I don't feel intuitively meant for it to be turned over it's just an accident of shuffling okay so not like any other deck that I used before and cards pop out Oh, you know, willfully. So anyway, let's uh, see what's coming up. You know, the bottom card is your shadow card energy, and it may be energy that plays out along with the rest of the cards that I will be selecting for you. And let's see what that's going to be. All right. Energies for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Shadow card energy, Aries, uh, energy that may play out, of course, along with the rest of the cards, relates to, well, we have the Three of Pentacles, okay? So the Three of Pentacles is in the reverse. Let me just hold that up. Three of Pentacles is showing up here in the reverse. So the Three of Pentacles, and just to show you what it looks like in the upright position, like I said, this is a gorgeous deck. It's just one... One of those decks that you just purchase because you admire the artwork and stuff and just set it aside and um, never use it to do readings. But uh, anyway, Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, that could mean a couple of things. Um, when it comes to now, of course, you know, in the upright position, it's all about working uh, together with other people. It could be in the workplace environment. It could be outside the workplace environment. So you may experience uh, for some of you this upcoming week that someone is not willing to work with you on fill in the blank okay if it's um someone that you work with uh or if you're working on a project uh you know within the work environment outside of the work environment this also too the three of pentacles can extend out into uh relationships as well so um somebody's not willing to work with you to fill in the blank okay so it may be um Someone, too, because it is the Pentacles and it represents work and finances. Um, someone may be waiting for a, a raise to come through. This would be a delay. OK, a small pay raise could be, a, a you know, related to Christmas bonuses and whatnot. Uh, but I feel that it's going to be um, still forthcoming, but it may not be when you want it. OK, so there's a small delay and some sort of money coming towards Aries. And the other factor is that. Uh, somebody um, is not willing to work with you on fill in the blank. OK, your focus, however, is of OK. Now it's your energy. This is the page of wands. Again, the page of wands is about news and surprises. It's a court card. It's a card of inspiration, uh, starting something new and being inspired to start something new. That could be anything. This is an open general reading Aries. It could be a relationship. It could be a new job. It could be a friendship. Again, it's um, you know up to you to fill in the energies in terms of how the messages are coming across uh, regarding your own life. OK, so this is good energy here. Starting off with let's go ahead and select the other cards uh, to see what complements the three of Pentacles. And I forgot to mention the three of Pentacles, of course, uh, does rep represent the Earth energies, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male and or female. OK. So, let's 
let's see, Aries, Aries. Okay. All right, so we got our four. Page of Wands is representing you, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. News and or surprises. This is a court card. Somebody may be the deliverer of some type of news. Now, it is favorable when it is in the upright position, but it all depends, too, on what that news is. I hope that someone brings some good tidings or some good news or a surprise to you this upcoming week. So following the uh, page of wands, um, Aries, we now have, all right, this is a reversal and this is the queen of wands. Well, there we go. There's uh, two court cards right in a row. This is the queen of wands and she's showing up in a reverse position. Normally, uh, the queen of wands or the king of wands, when it's in the upright, uh, if you've uh, come to my channel or been to my channel before and, and heard my messages that the queen and the king is always about a focus. It's always about possibly, you know, some things heating up um, or about to heat up. Some things can be uh, intense. This is a card of passion. Uh, you know, I always say the uh, king and the queen represents sexual energy, sexual expression. It is a court card. Always get an older feel with the king and queens. When it is showing up in the reverse position, then it means something totally different. So it may be that things are less intense or will be less intense for you. Um, however, the you know, the uh, situation that you're dealing with, there's a less uh, degree of passion. And also, too, I'm feeling uh, some sort of de energy, you know, some sort of energy that is lessened, you know, like you're de energized or something. Or you may not feel like you have enough energy to do uh, whatever it is that crops up for you this upcoming week. Then it also too relates to Aries that some of you might be out of focus. Um, and it, again, it could be regarding uh, your work. You could be, you know, regarding the uh, information that have given you about the three of pentacles where someone is not willing to work with you in terms of, you know, a project or some other type of energy uh, feeling. But it is in the past position, but it is still part of the energy uh, for you moving forward. So uh, I do feel that there is going to be for some of you a degree of just feeling like not completely tired or overwhelmed just you don't have that that spark that energy that you normally carry uh to get you through things and stuff okay so you may be experiencing some of that type of energy as well with the queen of wands uh in the reverse position which will also represent male energy so your focus is somewhere else i don't know where your focus uh, could be uh things are uh, don't seem or appear to be that intense and there's a lot of uh, a lessening of some sort of passion uh, and then the passion could be uh, related to a work project or your relationship or something else that's going on that's you know close and significant for you following the queen of wands that represent your uh, energy aries and that of uh you know leo and yeah sagittarius <laughs> male or female now we have the ace of pentacles now the ace of pentacles is in the reverse as well Actually, the Ace of Pentacles, and just to show you what it looks like in the upright position, it's a very, it's still a very favorable card. Just know that the Aces are always the start in the, uh, you know, the start of something new. And depending on the element that shows up, in this case, the element is the Pentacle. So someone could be um, waiting to hear news about a job or waiting to hear news about a promotion. Um, this Ace of Pentacles represents all things that are still coming forward, but there's something that's delaying it. OK, that would be the delay in the reversal of this energy here. Uh, good things are still coming. It could be, you know, someone was um, wanting to start, you know, saving money. Well, then you might decide to push that back because, well, if you're that you know that Aries that uh has to do <laughs> a lot of spending for uh, Christmas and stuff then you're not going to be able to save so but you're going to possibly do it uh you know after the holidays are over with but this is just an example I'm saying that whatever it is that's going on or coming up for you this upcoming week Aries you can expect a delay but it's still coming all right Ace of Pentacles Taurus Capricorn Virgo male or female whether that is waiting for a promotion a job start saving or something to do with your finances or investments just 
uh, temporary delay. Following the Ace of Pentacles uh, in the reverse, now we have the ooh, we have the Tower, and the Tower shows up for Aries in the reverse. It showed up for another sign I can't even remember, but it was their shadow. Major Arcana Tower Tower is showing up here. I'm gonna show you what this Tower looks like in the upright position, Aries. So you know. The tower's energy is about upheaval and destruction and all that other crazy stuff. Politics, you name it, environmental uh, stuff. It may not be something that directly impacts you, but it may be uh, something that impacts um, someone that you know. It could also, uh, you know, on a minor scope, could represent... Uh, things that are happening in your neighborhood or your community uh, where there is involvement of, you know, um, fires, house fires, shootings, um, all kinds of crazy stuff. But that's just typical of, you know, everyday news. Things are always happening on a broader scale. Uh, yes, this would represent our politics and um things in general and like i said before when it showed up for the shadow that this even though it's in the reverse we have more control over the upheaval and destruction because the tower is still going to be the tower but the energy is lessened when it shows up in the reverse so that means usually people have control of the events meaning that there is something that could be coming up for you that um you know you may be aware of or you may not you know, you may be fully aware of as the week progresses and whatnot, and then you can put a handle on it. OK, so you can lessen the impact of whatever it is that would create some sort of uh, shake up or upheaval for you. So this is what I'm getting. Uh, the tower is showing up here, major arcana, and then it mirrors the uh, your energy here. So it could be something going on that's shaking up a family unit or a relationship uh, with the queen of wands in the uh, reversal it, because the tower mirrors that. Uh, but, you know, the expectation is still uh, not to put too much emphasis on, uh, you know, the tower or, you know, like I said, the three of swords when it shows up here, because it's just things that, um, you know, happen in everyday life for everyday people. So it's nothing unusual, um, you know, when we get these dings, as I call them, negative cards to show up. It's just giving us another opportunity to work through whatever it is that we are confronted with or we are have to deal with or whatever we're faced with all right so following the tower major arcana in the reverse position aries we have now we have that ace of wands see this is good news and good surprises again and the ace is in the reverse so again with the connection with the ace of pentacles double aces are always good and this is still positive even though it's in the reverse position now it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be the receiver or the receptor of bad news. Uh, I feel still that the news or the surprise that is forthcoming, whether you are expecting it or not expecting it, Aries, it's see, that's that delay. When Whenever these aces show up in the reverse, it's about a delay, but things are still coming. And then I'm going to connect the queen with this energy because this is also a card of aspiration, being inspired to start something new. Um, this could be, you know, artistic stuff, creative stuff, whatever you do, um, you know, could be involving uh, music, singing, dancing. Uh, and then there's a delay. Something's going on that possibly um, doesn't completely halt you and completely stop it. But there's something going on, something else that's going on with the energy of you. See, remember, the, the queen is, is in the reverse. So this would represent not only a female, but a males and stuff. Then that means you're out of focus. Your focus is somewhere else. And then it may be attached to the Ace of Wands where, you know, if you were or are inspired to do something creative or start something new, then, you know, you might be thinking about something else. You know, why didn't the job come through? Why didn't the promotion come through? Why didn't my money come through and so forth? So there's a lot of energy that's coming in here. Um that possibly could explain what you might experience this upcoming week. So I'm just trying to fill in the gaps <laughs> and trying to give you my best intuitive impressions as to what I feel that, you know, some of you may experience. So anyway, the Ace of Wands is you, Aries, and that of the other fire signs, Leo and Sagittarius, male or female. Something good is still coming uh, because we have the central focus card. Uh, as news and surprises and normally when it's in the upright position uh, it's about uh, 
usually good things. Okay, so I don't, you know, the reason why the Ace of Wands is here is that something good may be coming, but it may be delayed or slowed up. But it might be connected to the Ace of Pentacles as well. That's in the reverse. So we'll see. I appreciate the comments coming through. Let me know how things are opening up for you. Now we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Now. There's not a lot of reversals in this deck, but you're, 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 you know, you're, I selected some for you. Okay. So, but this seven of cups here, Aries is actually a pretty good card. Um, seven of cups is basically in the upright position. There's many options to pick and choose from. Also, the seven of cups represents uh, an illusion. Okay. So I always say when the seven of cups shows up, especially when the seven of cups shows up in a reverse position, that means that Aries is seeing, uh, people for who they are because the cups represent people, love, and emotions. You're, and you're also not only seeing people for who they are, but you're seeing other situations involving you for what it is. Okay, so you're not getting caught up in some sort of um, deception or you know self-deceiving energies and and being uh, fooled into you know being tricked into uh, believing somebody. Uh, is more than what they appear to be or something else is more than what it appears to be. This is the dispelling of the illusion. So you're seeing people in situations for who and what they are. Now, this also could represent a completion of having options to pick and choose from, you know, previously, like from your recent uh, past energies and whatnot. And this would just be for those areas that there's a completion and hopefully if there was some options for you to pick and choose from and it's not just uh, you know relationships I'm talking about whatever the options may have been available to you that you chose the right thing because normally uh, if you don't then uh, that other aspect of the seven of cups is that it comes back and bites you in your ass okay because <laughs> it wasn't for your highest good cancer Scorpio and Pisces male or female represents that seven of cups that's in the reverse up next is the well, we have now the Four of Cups in the reverse. Okay. Four of Cups is in the reverse. And so this Four of Cups, just to show you what it looks like in the upright position. Four of Cups in the reverse. This is my social card. This is the card still representing love, emotions, social outings, and whatnot. So it may be that this Four of Cups in the reverse and actually, the Four of Cups is just like the Seven of Cups, because if you were going to go back to the classic uh, standard textbook definition, which I don't like to do anyway, but I'll use that as an example to try to explain to you. If anyone is familiar with Tower, you know that normally the Four of Cups is that there's always that one cup that there is the focus on, and then there's three cups that are around you, and you're paying no attention to this energy. Now, if you take that same energy and then flip, that means that the cups that are surrounding you you're all you're paying attention to all of the cups and not just one but keep in mind though with the reversal of this uh the four of cups and also too with the seven of cups but i didn't go as strong on the energy uh for you aries as i am going to go for you on the um four of cups these cups are usually filled so the up you know the cup overfloweth so this could be someone's having some emotional aspect cups represent children maybe something that's tied into children and just you know the child uh, excuse me the child or the children of aries and then something's going on with them on an emotional level or there's some aspect of you that uh might crop up for you this upcoming week and it's creating some sort of I don't know. I'm getting crying moments here, you know, not crying spells, but maybe an emotional some type of emotional thing going on. Now, that could be attached to so many things. So don't, you know, uh, view this message as something as being uh, negative. I'm just giving you my best intuitive impression that something comes up and then, you know, because it's underneath the. Um, somebody's upset maybe because they're still waiting for that job. They're still waiting for that promotion. They're still waiting for, uh, you know, maybe that bonus, that Christmas bonus or pay raise to come in. And the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse is over top of the Four of Cups. So fill in the blanks to whatever it is that's going on, um, possibly with your uh, given situation. But anyway, we got Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female. Uh, coming up here representing the four of cups in the reverse also too, the four of cups might be linked to the three of pentacles because this is all about you know collaborating 
and working well with others when it's in the upright position. OK, working towards the same goal, trying to achieve the same, uh, you know, working on the same energies and whatnot. So it might be that there's something going on and maybe this is a disappointment. It's not so much strong as it would be if it was the five of cups. Um, but yeah, emo somebody emotionally possibly may let Aries down, uh, but it may be regarded in some sort of a, a collaboration of something or of sorts. Okay, so I'm just throwing that out there. Anyway, last card for you, Aries, is now we have another card that's in the reverse, and this is the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, I'm going to have to go through this deck again and make sure that I didn't make a switch. Um, oh, I'm sorry. This is the Nine of Cups, not the Nine of Pentacles. I just happened to look. It's a beautiful card here. You got to see these cards in person, boy. I'm telling you, velvety, smooth, and, and really, really uh, colorful deep and rich in color anyway this is the nine of cups so now you know the nine of cups showing up here and you got what seven of cups in the reverse four of cups in the reverse and now we have the nine of cups nine of cups in the upright is the yes answer to all relationships since this is an open general reading you would have to play that yes to you know um all your relationships again the cups represent children uh the water sign energies cancer scorpio or pisces male or female so then you would be, well, the answer, if it's yes in the upright, then it would be no in the reverse, plain and simple. Uh, then attach that to whatever is going on in terms of your relationship. Now, it doesn't mean that it's, you know, something that's real bad. But if, if it was just a simple question, like if you are interested in someone new, then, you know, check the emotions here for yourself and check them, you know, the the energy surrounding this that no they don't like you they don't again you're sitting up here because i'm jumping over here for a minute because i'm trying to make a connection this is showing up as your last card in the reverse position that would be the no to any romantic relationships okay nine of cups is still a good card because i always equate this uh nine of cups energies with that of the star card hopes wishes and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested now i'm specifically saying it's no when it's in the reverse too possibly linked to romantic questions it mirrors the seven of cups which i'll you know, I spoke about the Seven of Cups and I says when it's in the reverse, the Seven of Cups is actually pretty good because you're seeing people for who and what they are. OK, and you're not falling into any uh, entrapments and believing something or believing someone is some something greater than they are not. So this is the link that I'm getting with the mirror of the Nine of Cups. And so maybe this is all that it is, is that connection that. If there is some Aries dealing with some, you know, relationships and then, you know, you're seeing that person for who they are. And then you got the four of cups right in the middle. And then, you know, sort of like that might play into the energies as well. It's like it's some sort of emotional uh, letdown or unsettling type of energy. So this represents cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, male or female. And when I get back to equating it with the star card, the nine of cups, that is uh, Aries, hopes, wishes and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. When the star card is here and it's a major arcana, it's in the reverse. Those things, the star card is still powerful, not only because it's the major arcana, but when it shows up in the reverse, it's those things that are still forthcoming and that you're looking forward to. But it may take a while for um it to manifest okay because the star card is about manifestation just like the magician on the positive side is about manifest you know manifesting what uh you want to bring into your life and so this nine of cups basically is the same type of energy of that reversal of the star card if it was you know the star card that was here and it was in the reverse Whatever you're hoping for, whatever you're wishing for, whatever you're dreaming of is still forthcoming. But there may be something, um, you know, delaying it or it may not be manifested. Usually because I'm doing this week energy for you, whatever it is, it may not be manifested during this week's time frame. OK, I'm just going to leave it at that. Then it mirrors the. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it mirrors the um, Ace of Wands. And also, too, it's like a delay. Some Something good is coming, but there's still a delay in terms of the energies. Oh. All right. I think I've uh, covered all my bases here. So we have the tower in reverse. Uh, your opening focus energy is the page of wands. And that's still about news and surprises coming forth to some of you. 
And um, some of you can expect some sort of delays or uh, I wouldn't say uh, setbacks. If they are, they're temporary, but I wouldn't focus so much on anything uh, um, prolonging whatever it is that you're inspired or aspired to do based on the Ace of Wands showing up on the uh, reverse end. And then something going on in attachment to either, uh, you know, children of Aries or there's something going on with uh, another connection with Aries. It's involving a relationship and it's like a just a minor, you know, letdown emotion or you're feeling some type of way emotionally okay and also too because of all these cups that are showing up here uh and we're we're heading into the holiday season because the following week is christmas then you know all these cups may be playing a role uh as i've said in previous um videos for you aries that a lot of people don't do well with the holidays yes they're supposed to be you know festive and you spend time with your family your friends your significant others and stuff like that but a lot of people just don't do well and so that too might be like the precursor in terms of energies going into the following week but it could be or it may not be but we'll see throw the comments in let me know how things are opening up for you i appreciate you uh in the comments uh whatever you do be safe uh, always emphasizing that safety and sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way. Aries, until I talk to you again. Bye.